Hey guys, happy Thursday. It is March 8th. It is about two o'clock in the afternoon. I just landed in Arizona. You can't even see what's going on outside. <laughs> of course, my first stop here is In-N-Out Burger. I know I'm slowly transitioning over to a vegan lifestyle. However, In-N-Out Burger is one of my favorite restaurants. And so when I'm here, since they don't have one in the Houston area, when I'm here, I'm obviously gonna treat myself a little bit. So I am picking up a burger and fries and a Coke, and then my sister is working until 3.30, so I have a little bit of time until she gets off of work, and I'm actually thinking about, since I'm literally ASU's campus, Arizona State University's campus is just literally right over there, I may actually go park and walk around the campus because I graduated in 2010, it's 2018, it has been eight years since I've been on campus. I know a lot has changed, they've made a lot of renovations and they've done a lot to it, but I kinda wanna point out some things that motivated me to write the Alpha Drive specifically when Emory was going off to boarding school because a lot of the, the settings that take place in the Alpha Drive were inspired by the settings at Arizona State. So I thought that kinda be a cool thing to do to introduce this vlog while I'm here. You know, it just seems so fitting because a Hyundai Tucson was the car that I drove in college, except mine was a, you know, much earlier model and it wasn't this nice. But I just parked, changed out of my sandals. I'm really thinking that maybe they're on spring break because the fact that I was able to find parking on a Thursday is quite impressive. Unless they've just built more parking garages, I really don't know. <laughs> but I changed into more comfortable shoes so that way I can walk around and walk around freely and kind of show you guys my old campus. You guys, I just cannot believe that I have not been back on this campus for eight years. It's not like I don't come back to Arizona, I do. I guess after you spend four years somewhere walking around a massive campus like this, I'm almost like to the other end where my old dorm used to be. You guys saw a glimpse of it in the car. It's definitely, <laughs> I really hope I can find a picture of the dorm that I lived in because when I talk about a dilapidated building that should be torn down, that was my dorm. It was called PV Main. And this is called Palm Walk because it's just a long sidewalk that runs from the north end of campus to the south end and it's just lined with palm trees. This is something I definitely don't miss is the bridge to get over. Oh my gosh, this is why I was in such good shape. Holy crap, my legs. Yep, walking over the bridge just to get to my dorm. So they kept PV, PV East West, I don't know what direction I'm facing right now. They kept that the same. But if you can imagine this building, only one story and made of red brick where this monstrosity is now. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. Well they did, they listened to us. They finally tore it down because it was so dilapidated and old and it needed to be remodeled and completely reconfigured. Yeah, they kept PV East and West the same. But PV Main, which was my dorm, is also the inspiration for where Emery's dormitory is. Here is the lawn where she first runs into Mason. And here is that Starbucks <laughs> that she and Rhea go to get coffee at. So now you guys are actually seeing. Maybe this will give you a better picture of things. It'll bring it to life a little bit. I cannot even get over how gigantic this is. Is it even called PV Main now? PV Main's gone. It is the Tucker House now. I'm gonna sit in one of these bright yellow seats. Oh, it's like foam. Seriously, you guys, I cannot even get over how different, yet still how much the same Arizona State's campuses after eight years. Like, they've built a lot of new buildings, they've torn down a lot of old ones, but I really like that they've kept PV East and West. I really like that they kept those, even though they're definitely on getting on the older side, and they're probably gonna <laughs> tear them down at some point. 
I'm happy that they kept those. But my dorm, like where I lived for a full year, is completely gone. And whatever this is, the Tooker house, that has now replaced it. I really hope I can find a picture to show you guys, to show you guys what it looked like. But if I had to guess, I'm probably standing, let's see, right here. Because this was my view out my window. Yeah, this was my view because it was just a little bit off to the left. I could see one of the other dorms. But if I had to guess, right here on the third floor, because that's as tall as my, my dormitory was, it was only three floors tall, that was where my room was and that was where I wrote some of the Alpha Drive and looking out at all of this was where I got a lot of the inspiration. So kind of a cool thing to be able to show you guys. Kind of wish my dorm was still here so I could have gone inside and I don't know, I probably couldn't have gone to the room but I could have at least walked onto the floor. But it doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Okay, so it is 325, I'm back in the car, obviously. My sister just texted me, she got off of work, so she's heading back to her apartment, so I'm gonna head over that way. But I really hope you guys kind of enjoyed seeing some of Arizona State's campus. I know that a lot of my viewers are actually from out of the country, so I feel like sometimes it's cool to see different universities and to kind of actually be able to I don't know see what the campus looks like so I absolutely loved Arizona State's campus like I said it's so different yet still the same it's really hard to describe but they've just made a lot of updates and they've renovated a lot of the buildings so it looks really good sorry I'm like out of breath because, <laughs> because I was walking like that's like a long distance to walk again now I remember why I was so in shape because there's just so many hills and bridges and it's just palm walk is a long long sidewalk that stretches all the way across campus but I hope you guys enjoyed that I hope you enjoyed seeing where I got a lot of the inspiration for the alpha drive maybe you'll now have kind of a clearer picture a better picture of what of what I'm talking about when I'm describing the settings when Emery and Rhea are going to do stuff kind of around the campus of their boarding school and also when Emery meets Mason and yeah where the whole crew in the alpha drive hangs out so I'm done rambling. I'm gonna head to my sister's. And that dorm is the inspiration for where Mason lived. Hey! Psst. Hey, hey you. <laughs> this is precious. I'm gonna get a good picture of you for Aaron to frame. Hey. Hi. I'm with my sister. We're going to Barnes and Noble before dinner because it's Books. tradition, and it's what we do. We're gonna see what we can find. <laughs> Look at that cute little bun. Look at little bun. It's so perfect. Yeah. Ooh, ah. Hey look, my favorite. 6.30 in the evening. This is just a day full of reminiscing. I was telling Aaron because I'm driving a Hyundai Tucson. I walked around Arizona State's campus and now we're eating at Charleston's, which is where I hosted and served for six years. Crazy. Good morning, little one. Good morning. You're so sweet. You tired still? Good morning, guys. It is Friday. Ooh, that is yellow because the walls are yellow. <laughs> it is Friday, March 9th. 6.30 in the morning, it's really early. I am at my sister's place. Ta-da! So, I've been drinking my coffee. I just plugged in my phone because it needs to charge. But it looks like the sun is starting to come up, which is awesome. I'm trying to give myself a little bit of energy. I slept well last night, but the air mattress I was sleeping on, I don't think we closed the little, I don't know, the area where you <laughs> blow it up properly because <laughs> I was like sunk it in when I woke up this morning. So on the agenda for today, my sister's working until about 3, 3.30 time frame. I'm gonna go hiking and then I'm going to come back here and shower, get ready. 
I am gonna go meet my dad for lunch. You probably know who Anna is by this point because I talk about her book all the time and she was in one of my recent vlogs when I had my little wine Skype date and then I also hung out with her and met her for the first time last November over Thanksgiving. So she's actually driving in from Flagstaff into Phoenix this afternoon. So we are going to meet up probably at Barnes and Noble and just chat and catch up and hang out in person. And I think we're actually gonna do some writing. We'll see how much writing gets done because she and I talk a lot. We talk for like five hours straight every time we see each other. <laughs> so we'll see if any writing actually gets done. And then I will probably come back to my sister's place after that. And she and I will go to dinner and just have an easy breezy dinner and then tomorrow is the bridal shower and then sunday morning bright and early i leave so it's a really quick trip here in arizona but i can tell you i already feel just kind of like i hit the reset button a little bit which is which is kind of nice i feel like when i'm in texas for too long and you know i get back into my routine and things are just sort of the same i try to make things different every day but you know when you have your routine it ends up being the same so it's kind of nice to step away from that and be back in arizona and be around my family and just kind of have a change of scenery change of change of setting a different workout you know to go hiking instead of running around my neighborhood with denali even though i miss her so much so yeah that's the plan for today I probably need to change into my workout clothes. Okay, it's 7.20 now, so that's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and drive over. You can see the sun is coming up, so I'm gonna go ahead and drive over to the trail and get hiking. By luck I found you sitting all alone Looking down your phone like a restless soul Stroked your hair, left your scent in the air And the sun was almost acting as a spotlight just for you Making flowers bloom, days are made for you You make me weak in the knees Alright, so I guess I should have come out here a little bit earlier Because there are so many people <laughs> And I keep catching up to them, but as you get higher in elevation, there's more rocks, so it's like terrifying to run past them. It's kind of a cool angle with the sun, but just so you guys know, these mountains that you're seeing all around, these are were also inspiration in the Alpha Drive when Emery was leaving to drive to her boarding school. So when I talk about the mountain ranges that she's looking at, this is what she was looking at. I feel like this whole vlog, I've just been talking about where the inspiration came from for the Alpha Drive, for a lot of the scenery and the settings. But, you know, I've lived in Texas for eight years. I lived in Arizona for 11. So it's crazy to think that, ooh, I just saw a piece of quartz. This is from the quartz mine. Cool, I'm taking that home with me. But yeah, you know, when you've lived in Texas for eight years and you only come back to Arizona or to your hometown every once in a while, you kind of forget all the stuff that used to inspire you. And I can't believe I haven't done a vlog where I've told you guys all of this. So hopefully you're enjoying it. I'm gonna put the camera away because it's starting to get steep. <laughs> Siri, how many miles did I walk? Wow. 3.37 miles, almost 7,000 steps, five flights of stairs climbed. And it's 8.55, which means I was hiking for a little over an hour. So it's getting toasty. It's only 62 degrees, but man, I am warm. So I'm actually headed to AJ's to pick up some breakfast and also their green tea. I actually love their ice green tea more than Starbucks. So good and we don't have an AJ's in Texas. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm actually going to drive over to my dad's because he lives just right around the corner and we are gonna go to the gym because I wanna do some strength training. So I got my cardio in, my like three and a half miles <laughs> of hiking and now I need to do some, some weightlifting. Just got out of AJ's, picked up their blackberry jasmine green tea is what the flavor is and it is so good. I also picked up a blueberry scone because I haven't had one in forever 
and I just burned a zillion calories. So I'm like, I need something. I didn't have breakfast this morning. So that's my breakfast. And I also bought my dad. I asked him if he wanted anything. He said no, but they had cinnamon rolls and he loves cinnamon rolls. So I'm going to bring that to him. You gotta carb up before you work out, you know? Where's your ball? Go get it. <gasps> that's a good ball. So fun. She's like, aren't you gonna throw it? So I am back at my sister's place now. It is 3.45 in the afternoon. As you can see, I've got my laptop and I just uploaded basically all the footage that I got from yesterday and today. So I'm working on putting that together. I'm also waiting for Erin to get home from work so I can say hi to her. And then Anna is actually on her way over to the Phoenix area, so whenever she texts me to let me know that she's here, I'm gonna go ahead and head back on over to the North Scottsdale area, and we're gonna meet up, I believe, at Barnes & Noble and just chat, catch up, have coffee, and have a little writing session. So that'll be, that'll be really exciting. And I'm not really sure what the plan is this evening. I'm sure Aaron and I will go have dinner somewhere, so It'll probably be pretty relaxing, but just wanted to give you an update as to what's going on. I'm back in the car, it's 6.35. Anna is here, I just had dinner with my sister, so now I'm gonna drive about 25 minutes to Barnes & Noble to meet up with her. We're gonna chat and hang out for a little bit and get some writing in. Made it to Barnes & Noble to meet up with Anna. <laughs> talking no. again for a zillion hours and now we're about to close down the Barnes and Noble in Scottsdale in Old People Town. How was your writing session? It was wonderfully productive. How much did you get done? I wrote about 12 words. <laughs> Good morning, friends. It is Saturday, March 10th, and I am heading to a bridal shower. Got this really cute dress. It's got this little thing attached to it. It's really hard to get on, but I figured it out. But I got it from Forever 21, and I'm loving it. So it's a beautiful day outside, so I'm gonna head to back over to North Scottsdale area for this bridal shower. Happy Sunday. It is March 11th. As you can tell, I am back home now. It's been a pretty lazy Sunday. It was daylight savings last night, but Arizona doesn't participate in that. But really strange because it feels like 7 o'clock. It's actually 8 o'clock now. So when I got home, I had to shift all of my clocks one hour forward, which was not fun. So it's kind of strange losing an hour anyways, but then when you're traveling back from somewhere and you end up losing two hours, it's just even weirder, so that's gonna be an adjustment. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm actually going to go ahead and close it out here, but before I do, I did want to make a quick announcement now that 
it's up on the website and it's live. I am actually going to be attending as a speaker and a presenter, and I guess you could say a teacher, the Permian Basin Writers Workshop this year, which is October 13th through the 14th. And I'm actually going to be teaching two workshops or two classes. So for those of you in the area, I really hope that you are able to make it and to attend this awesome writers workshop. There's a lot of great presenters and teachers. So I'm really looking forward to this. I will leave the link in the description box below that way you can go to the website you can check it out see how much tickets are and all that good stuff so really exciting stuff because I know in this past Monday's video I announced that I'm the keynote speaker at the all about the Indies event which is in August and then in October I will be in the Permian Basin teaching two writing workshops so lots of really exciting stuff going on this year so besides my domestic book tour that is upcoming those are the other two events that I've been really excited to share with you guys that I will be attending and also so speaking slash teaching at this year. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here. I am working on getting laundry all taken care of and just gotta get ready for work tomorrow. Just make sure everything is ready to go. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please click that thumbs up button to support my channel. And other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.